thousands descended on the Setsoto Stadium as Prime Minister Matekane took the oath. He takes over the leadership position from Mokwetsi Majoro, who headed the government since 2020. The chair of the SADC Organ on Politics, Defense and Security, Dr. Gengob, is happy with the election outcome and assured the Basoto of the regional bloc's full commitment and support to their peace efforts. In that vein, we thank all the leaders of the competing parties and candidates for their cooperation and contribution to peace and stability and for placing the interests of Lesotho above any other interests. In light of the consensus of foreign observer missions who reaffirm the result as representing the will of the people of Lesotho, I wish to reiterate that the Southern Organ on Politics, Defense and Security Cooperation will continue to leave no stone unturned in our collective efforts towards the realization of the ongoing political reforms aimed at consolidating democracy in Lesotho. If implemented, the proposed reforms would see a number of state organs depoliticized as laid out in the draft 11th Constitutional Amendment Act or the Omnibus Bill. With the completion of the work of SADA facilitation team, I am confident that the government of Lesotho and all stakeholders will give the same support and cooperation to the oversight committee that was established by the 42nd SADAC summit to oversee the implementation of the national reforms. The new government under Matekane promises to clamp down on corruption, particularly in the public sector. He wasted no time in outlining key priority areas, including the expansion of infrastructure for trade and improving accountability and transparency in government. It would be naive of me if I were to imagine that the road ahead will be smooth. Certainly not. But change is a binding imperative in our in our present situation, the absence of a rigorous system of monitoring and evaluation can easily foster a culture of impunity in which there are no consequences for poor performance and wrongdoing. The new government will increase our accountability in the public sector by creating a system in which performance expected of all public officers will be transparently stated and reported upon. Lesotho has had seven duly elected prime ministers since formation as a nation state in 1966, one acting prime minister and two chairmen from the military council. The kingdom experienced three coups between 1970s and early 1990s and four attempted coups in recent years. If the unity and pride shown during the celebrations of the new Prime Minister are anything to go by, the Basutu are eager to jealously guard the gains made. Blanche Corres, NBC News.